Hello, welcome back to more Shame Pile. Currently working through Alan Wake's American Nightmare at the moment, and there is some dumb shit going on. But we love that. That's what we like about it, I guess. Um, you're gonna have to forgive me if I cut out the game audio for when songs come on and stuff, because apparently uh, it's legible enough, or audible enough, that, uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't like it. So we're gonna stop that. Anyway, are you okay? Are you How okay? you doing? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... Uh, we've heard this. What are they? Yeah, let's, let's go to the diner. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil. Go into the diner. They would have overrun the place. <laughs> Alan Wake is a man that always finishes his sentences. Okay, well, I guess that's the diner up there. Let's check it out. So I was in Arizona a few years back, uh, visiting family up there, and uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. Ooh. Its existence Spooky zone. Rage and hostility. Oh. Its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. No! Fuck you! Shit. Fuck you! Ooh. Okay. Well, you, you can fuck that business right off. Um. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no, no that that stuff for the diner sign up there happens all the time in Arizona. Like this, this is not fiction. Ooh, flare. I guess, yeah. It's, it kind of works like a grenade. There's some more ammo and shit up here, so I'm kind of thinking that they might be setting me up for something bad in there. So let's get some ammo and other shit. Be prepared for it. And it looks like an absolute party in there already. Yeah, that's what it is, a party. Anyway, let's just use the front door. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hello? Okay, well, this seems pretty standard so far. Turn the TV on? Nope. Dang it. Oh, so we left the fan on. Okay. Fascinating. This, this must be the back door of the place, um, hmm, yeah, there's not really much going on in here. The oh. Scene. Traces of violence, a callous midnight snack, <laughs> a room key left carelessly behind. Oh, that's probably the one with the uh, page in it. Yes. Is the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. What was I supposed to examine over here? Like this, maybe? Examine, examine. Satellite Ooh. now this. That place might be involved. Yeah, probably. Fish and man, side by side. Let's just get those keys. Anyway, something, something is clearly going on here. Anyway, this has obviously set me up for an event. So something's more than likely going to happen as soon as I step outside here, and it's not going to be great. But. Let's do it anyway. Sprint. Okay. I don't know what to, oh, that's a page over there. I'm pretty certain that is. Yes, it is. How did I miss that the first time? Oh, let's pick it up. I'm sure it is completely demented. <laughs> Ooh. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. <laughs> yeah, what a... <laughs> oh. Sloan, an innocent victim oh, of God damn it. Half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. You can fuck right off. Oh, wait, I got the Uzi at the moment. Oh, fuck this. I don't know if I should be 
you gonna fight with these guys or not? Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad actually. It just spawned a lot of them at me. Right oh. Um Well that sucks. I mean I, I think from memory that's how the uh, original game goes, is that all your all your friendos get um kinda killed off after a while. Damn. Oh that's the Michael guy from the video. Dead. Tortured. Dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead. But solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Okay. So I mean I, I like Oh fuck. Okay. Shit. Uh Okay. So if this ever happens to you, your game's just like randomly minimized by the way. Uh check to see if you've got Citrix receiver on, because that thing is bullshit. It does this so much. Okay. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. Okay, well this kicked off something. Oh! So, did it just make me go, okay, An is that me straight up here? A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. Have I? Also, Alan, baby, your parking jobs, they're so shit. Seriously, look, look at this. Okay. I'm sorry, are you rewriting reality so you can park like a fucking dickhead whenever you want? Look at that bullshit. Ugh. Why does my character have to be a dickhead? Oh, I guess we're doing this. Hello! You get in here? Oh, flag on ammo. Because... <laughs> what kind of security guard is this? Okay. What's going on here? Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman, and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard, who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Ooh, shoddy. Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! Yeah, let's go for the shotgun. how much I'd miss that! And what about you, Tor? Ah, it's okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh! Whoa! It's wonderful to be back what? on stage! What the fuck? What did I just do? Okay, well, let's, let's open this up. What do we got? Okay, more shotgun ammunition. Heard your new songs, guys, and you sound really good. That's cool. And, uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. I mean, no, I mean, the difference between your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking about? You saying it's not us singing on that record? What? What you talking about? No, 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 I'm not saying that, guys, but I, I can't help noticing the difference. Son, you're on <laughs> you call Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Moment, boys. Yeah, and they do sound different, but believe me, we're not talking Millie Vanilli here. These guys are the real deal. Why don't you come to the gig tomorrow night and see for yourself? Once they get on that stage, boom, things get real. Really? Believe me, they play like they're possessed. It's almost like. Oh, this is a little bit on the nose. Oh, I swear, they're not like possessed by spooky darkness magic or anything. That is... That would be too easy. Oh! Speaking of easy, this might not be that. Um, whoa, what the fuck is going on up there? Somebody is on a bender. He is bloody cooked, mate. A lot of liquid nitrogen. <laughs> right, right next to the the fucking shotgun ammo box again. Oh man. 
I mean, I know it's a video game, video game logic, all that kind of stuff, but they're not really putting a lot of thought into where they're actually dropping these damn things, you know? Okay, well, anyway, we're going to have to find out exactly why it would leave um, shotgun ammo next to the nitrogen uh, tanks next time on Shame Pile. <laughs>